I'm not going to tell you about what you can find on Wikipedia. I'm going to tell you behind the scenes of who Clarence Avant is. He's a teacher. He's a master communicator. He's the perfect marriage between street sense and common sense. Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you inspiring stories from all corners of the globe. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Today we're shining the spotlight on a living legend, a titan in the music industry, Mr. Clarence Avant. So let's dive right in. Clarence Alexander Avant, a name synonymous with the American music industry, was born on February 25, 1931, in Climax, North Carolina. One of eight children, Avant was brought up by his devoted mother, Gertrude Avant. Despite the limited resources, Avant went on to acquire his primary education at a one-room school in Greensboro and later at Dudley High School. In 1947, Avant moved to New Jersey, which would mark the onset of his illustrious career. His early days were humble, working as an inventory assistant at Macy's and for a law catalog. But his fate was intertwined with music. By the 1950s, he was managing Newark's Teddy P's Lounge, marking the beginning of his illustrious career in the music business. Avant's expertise wasn't just limited to managerial roles. He was a visionary who attracted many R&B artists like Little Willie John, Louis Bonfa, Curtis Fuller, Freddie Hubbard, among others. Noticing his growing influence, reputable organizations like Wilson Organization, Creed Taylor, and Lalo Schifrin sought his partnership. In a major career milestone, on November 7, 1962, Avant founded Avant Guard Entries, incorporated in New York. This was a turning point that solidified Avant's standing in the music industry and made him a household name. The company enjoyed a successful start and signed the legendary Jimmy Smith, marking its first breakthrough. Beyond his professional life, Avant is a loving husband and devoted father. He married Jacqueline Alberta Gray in 1967, and together they have two children, Nicole and Alexander DeVore. His wife, Jacqueline, has made significant contributions to society, serving on various boards, including Neighbors of Watts and the International Student Center at UCLA. Nicole Avant is a former United States ambassador to the Bahamas and wife of Netflix executive Ted Sarandos, who produced a Netflix documentary, The Black Godfather, about her father's music industry career and his influential role advocating for black artists and athletes. Beyond music, Avant has been an advocate for civil rights and social change. He has used his influence to support African-American communities and advance opportunities for people of color in the entertainment industry. The Hollywood Chamber of Commerce proudly honored music executive Clarence Avant with the 2,590th star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on Friday, October 7, 2016. The star in the category of recording is located at 6363 Hollywood Boulevard, next to the star of music producers Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, who he worked with for many years. Today, Clarence Avant's illustrious career spans over six decades, and he's recognized as the godfather of black music. His trailblazing journey continues to inspire countless individuals around the world. Avant's career was characterized by his advocacy for equitable treatment and compensation for African-American artists and executives in the entertainment industry. His efforts were acknowledged with the NAACP Image Awards Hall of Fame in 2010 and his induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 2021. Clarence Avant died at his home in Los Angeles on August 13, 2023, at the age of 92. That wraps up the extraordinary journey of Clarence Avant, making his way up from humble beginnings to being one of the most influential figures in the music industry shows his determination and vision. Don't forget to subscribe for more inspirational stories. Until next time.